dear alumni, if you're watching this, then um, perhaps you've considered applying for the World Changing Alumni Award. Every year, the University of Glasgow recognises its alumni and the work that they do in the world. So perhaps you've thought about the work that you do and the difference that you make through your work, and you would be one of the people who would like to apply for this award. If so, please watch this little video and we'd like to give you some advice on how you can go about doing that. First thing to note is the deadline is the 24th of February, so there's a little bit of time between now and then to start making your application. It's a worthwhile award to apply for. Awards are recognised at three levels. There's an overall winner who will receive a trophy and be featured in the university's magazine, The Avenue. Then the finalists will be profiled on the university's web pages. And then those who are highly commended will be added also to the alumni web pages. These awards are great because they can boost your profile. You can add um, that to your, your LinkedIn or your CV. They can boost the profile of the organisation or the place where you're working. And they also allow the School of Education to be proud of what you've achieved after graduating. As I said, to apply, there's a form, a nomination form. And the best thing to do is if you'd like to apply, you can self-nominate, but the other thing you can do is you can get in touch with us and we can help you make the nomination and pair you up with a suitable member of staff who knows you and knows your work. First thing that you need to do though, and you would need to be able to tell us a little bit about, is how we could link what you've achieved to the United, Uni United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Then you need to complete a no nomination statement and that needs to outline what you've achieved, linking it to the goals, as I said, and also then thinking about the impact of your achievements. And a substantial amount of the form is connected to, to you writing that, that, that statement. It's also a statement where you can build in quotes from other people, people who've maybe benefited from your work. Um, even if you know if you were working in a school, it could be from um, the head teacher, it could be from parents, it could be from the community. If you're working for an NGO, it could be about users groups, user groups that you've, you've worked with and people that you've, you've impacted on. We then need to add the details of the person making the nomination. And while you can self-nominate, I think it's always helpful to connect with a member of staff who, who knew you or knew your work, and they can then make the nomination on your behalf. So that's really why I'm doing this, which is so that we can try to, to pair people who would be interested in applying for the award with a member of staff who can then um, help them make the nomination. The website, the university have a full website on this, which we can give you more information on, and it then gives you advice on um, how you, you can do it. So this advice is given to everybody who's going in for the, the award. So, for example, point three is really, really important. That idea of putting in facts and figures and who, who's benefited from your work. They, they give the, the, the nomination um, authenticity and they also give the, the nomination that real impact about what it is you've been doing. Quotes are, again, I said, a really good way to go forward. Quotes from your colleagues, managers, tutors, anybody who thinks you're wonderful and thinks that the work that you're doing is wonderful. I'll leave it at there and say that if you have any questions about the process or you would like to be matched up with a member of staff who can help write the nomination on your behalf, then please get in touch and I can even, uh, we, can, we can arrange a chat and talk about how to take this forward. Thank you and I look forward to seeing some nominations.